Hey guys, it's Dave from Golf Ed. In this video, I told you not to start the downswing with your shoulders. I told you to use gravity to create the downswing and get in a better position. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we do that. So let's start by talking about setup. So when you're at setup, the club head is resting on the ground. Your arms should be hanging straight down from your shoulders. So if you turn back and you just let the arms drop, if you let gravity get you back to the ground, the club's going to get all the way back down to the ground because that's where you were at setup. So let's take it all the way to the top of the swing. So you're at setup, club's resting on the ground, you turn it back, you get to the top of your swing. Again, if you just let your arms drop, the club's going to go all the way back down to the ground. As you can see, it bottoms out because I'm just keeping my chest right here. I'm not doing anything to turn back through. I'm letting gravity just drop it to the ground. When you're doing that, you're halfway to making a great downswing. So if you were watching where the club dropped to the ground when I was doing those drills, when I was just turning back and letting the club bottom out, the club was hitting the ground parallel to my right heel or my trail heel because my upper body wasn't turning through. When your upper body releases too early, you get steep and over the top, and it's tougher to keep the club square and you really don't want to keep it square because if you did, you're going to hit a big pull. So you leave the face open, you hit a glancing blow, you lose power, but you get it out in the fairway, hopefully. So what I want to do now is show you what happens when you get the chest staying back and your lower body gets through. All right, now that you've made a full turn, you're at the top of your backswing. You're all the way up here and your legs are in a good position where they can drive back through. I want your arms to be relaxed, let gravity kind of start to take over, and your hips start to pull. As you do that, because your hands aren't hitting, your wrists aren't striking at the ball, you're holding this angle, the angle between let my left forearm and the club shaft stays the same as my downswing starts. That's where we develop power. And, well, hold on, let me show you the plane. Now, let's talk about the plane. When you get to the top of the backswing and you're in a good position here, if your upper body or your shoulders start to unwind, you get steep and your hands get too vertical out in front of you. What we want to do is, again, let gravity help you out. Everything drops. Your lower body starts to pull through. You can see the club. I've talked about this in other videos. When the club's coming from behind your hands this way, really slightly, you're creating a lot of power and the club is going up and down the same path. That's going to make you a lot more consistent. So what we want to do is set up, you're gonna turn back, the arms drop, you're gonna count on your legs and the hip drive to pull you into impact. And it's gonna look like that. And this is how we use gravity to make a more powerful, more consistent golf swing. Hope this educates your game. I'll talk to you soon.